Good morning, Waste Warriors. I've had another brilliant question from Cecilia that I want to answer. She says, <coughs> excuse me, early on a Sunday morning, um, what I'd like to know about is buying food that that's not in packaging or is in reusable, either by me or by the shop if I take it back packaging, and preferably organic food too. She goes on to say that she always takes her own reusable shopping bags or basket and says um, a lot of food is sold packaged now that you have to throw away. I'd like to know if there's somewhere I can get things like milk and orange juice in glass bottles and any other ways of buying food or drinking less packaging. That's a big topic, isn't it? And I think it's it's worth talking about because it's something that so many of us are trying to achieve. It's quite a difficult question to answer without local knowledge and I think that's probably the place I would advise Cecilia to start is with either speaking to local people that she knows share some of her values and may be able to point her in the right direction of a brilliant outlet for getting these sorts of things. Going on to the internet, I will mention about our Facebook group. We've got over 4,000 members on there and I happen to know that one of them is from your neck of the woods so it might be worth going on there that's facebook.com cut groups cut zero waste week heroes you can come and post your questions and people are really friendly and helpful on there um i know some people don't like facebook for obvious reasons and very good reasons but i promise you that our group is really it's a good place to hang out um, and also just looking through the little, you know, the free publications that get pushed through the door. Usually they're full of adverts and we just chuck them in the recycling because they're a bit boring. But actually, if you maybe one day go through the adverts in the back, you might just, you don't know what's on your doorstep. That's what I always say, that places are springing up all the time. So first things first is to get that local knowledge. Now, if you find that, um, you, you, you know, that doesn't throw up anything and you're still stuck with perhaps supermarkets or the shops that you already know about, another great way to reduce packaging is with one of these organic vegetable boxes. Um, we had a little discussion on our Facebook group about them earlier on, I think it was last week, and people were discussing ones, you know, you know they're a bit, hit and miss some of them are very good some of them are not so good enough to put you off for life i know that the brand riverford came up um, as one of the favorites amongst our members so that might be worth looking into what i found is unfortunately i often have to choose between do i get organic food which is packaged or do i buy non-packaged foods which is also not organic so Sometimes we have to actually look at what we are prepared to compromise on and I can't answer that question for you. For me personally, I go for, if I'm stuck against the choice, I go for organic. Um, I do put myself and my health first, I have to admit. Um, but you've got to decide you know, where your value lies, what your model of the world is and what's going to work for you. So do look into um, a vegetable box delivery scheme. You don't have to sign up for life. You know, you can sign up for just a while and see if that works out for you. That might be a way for you to reduce packaging. Um, it's also really nice because you end up discovering perhaps uh, more seasonal foods that you wouldn't normally eat. So it can expand your kind of eating repertoire, if you like, and also help you to eat seasonally, which in the overall picture of zero waste is, is a really big benefit. One of the things that I do is I use a cooperative. So there's a few families, we all get together and we buy in bulk. So I know this doesn't answer your question for packaging free food, but if you want high quality organic food with less packaging, buying in bulk can be a good solution for that. What I often find is, you know, I'll get a big sort of five kilo bag of things that we eat, like, I don't know, pumpkin seeds, and it comes in a really thick polythene bag which I then either reuse because you know they're very strong and I've actually got one that I put over my mixing bowl when I'm making bread and it helps it to rise it just keeps everything um, warm in there or it's at least it's easier to recycle than if I were to buy pumpkin seeds from a supermarket they'd come in like a little crinkly bag film that I can't do anything with but at least with the 
uh, polythene, I can recycle that with carrier bags in, in one of my local supermarkets. So that's another idea. The other thing I would suggest is looking out for farm shops and a local, a local farmer's market. There's um, a website online where you can check to see if there are farmer's markets near you. And that's a great way to be able to buy stuff that is without packaging. It won't necessarily be organic, but I have found that small scale farmers, they, they actually don't have the time or the money to keep spraying their stuff. So it might be that it's sprayed less than the sorts of things you'd pick up in a supermarket. And also the beauty of going to a farmer, a farmer's market or a farm shop is that you can generally buy just the amount you want. So you also reduce your food wastage. And another thing I do, and this works quite well, it takes a bit of confidence. I don't know what sort of character you are, but you can, I, I find it's better to phone in advance. So you, you don't sort of just put people on the spot, but if you phone your local bakery or deli or butcher if you eat meat and ask them can I bring my own reusable containers into your shop will you put my stuff into my own container and I have found that um, this has been quite well received supermarkets are a little bit more health and safety I don't know about that your dirty horrible containers coming in on our scales but I find that as I say my local deli my local butcher they have been amazing and I just take in my own containers, they put them on the scales, they tear off the weight, and then they add my things to them. So I don't have any packaging. I was once able to uh, feed you know, my cat from the butcher w without any meat packaging at all, which was really fantastic. I could buy things like cheese and um, you know the really nice deli things like olives and stuff like that in my own containers. So that did away with a lot of packaging. For milk and orange juice there are still some traditional as I call them milkmen who bring it in glass bottles to the door it may not be organic so again you're going to have to look at your value system here and think which is more important to me but I do find that a lot of milk now uh, well all the milk now either comes in plastic bottles or uh, and the juice comes in cartons which can be recycled it can be reused I, I, when you talk about wanting to be able to reuse the packaging i didn't quite know what you meant by that um it, it sounds like you're trying to move up the waste hierarchy which causes the direction we should all be going in so recycling is kind of at the you know at the tail end of that um but I find that, you know, if there's a product I'm not willing to go without, then I at least buy it in a packaging that I know I can recycle easily. With orange juice, though, it sounds like you're up on kind of health and that kind of lifestyle. So what I do is I buy fresh oranges and I squeeze them because actually you get a much better quality product. And although you only get a tiny amount in a glass, it's it's almost like, a you know, a shot of, uh, of vitamin C. So I tend to not, I find that, you know, I, I don't really want a big glass of orange juice. I'm happy to have a much smaller quantity that has got that that freshly squeezed taste and is full of all the vitamins and minerals. Um, the other thing I would suggest finally is for looking for food without packaging is to just have a go at growing your own. And as I mentioned in a previous video, this doesn't mean that you have to hire an allotment or you know move to a house with a half an acre of, of garden, even if you've got no garden at all. I always say that you can grow things. So whether that is herbs on your kitchen windowsill, whether it's salad in a in a window box or in a hanging basket, you can grow things like tomatoes and strawberries. So it doesn't have to be this, oh my goodness, she's a crazy woman. She's telling me that I now I've got to add gardening to everything else that I have to do. You know, it could be 10 minutes a day, if that, of, um, I've actually got a tomato plant right in here in the dining room. I grew it outside um, and of course it's not reddening up because it's not getting warm enough so I've just bought it in so it's like a house plant in the corner of the room my husband thinks I'm crazy but I love it picking my fresh tomatoes every day now so I hope that there's been some ideas in here that you haven't thought of um, I would recommend if you're on you know a, a, an internet user that you get on to maybe a local Facebook group or you get on to Twitter and start using the hashtag of the place that you are in 
and ask your questions. You'll be amazed how, pe how helpful people can be on social media. So I hope I was going to say that's some food for thought. Oh, that's terrible, isn't it? It's Sunday morning. You know, you can tell I haven't brushed my hair yet. Um, hope there's something useful in there for you. And uh, Zero Waste Week starts tomorrow. How exciting is that? We'll be focusing on food waste. So you should get lots more ideas there. Although we're not actually dealing with packaging. We're dealing specifically with the food. Uh, yeah, that's it. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for listening. And I'll speak to you again soon.